Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, sun's out, and uh, it's finally the weekend. talk about today is how innovation is dying inside these big organizations while startups are having success by constantly releasing stuff quickly and not having to go through all the red tape these big big corporate companies have got a lot of legacy systems a lot of legacy processes and a lot of their own legacy thinking that's holding them back. One of the first mistakes that I've seen made is that everybody relies on hackathons and things like that um, in order to innovate. And the problem with that is you tend to bring a whole lot of people guided by a few experts into a room and then there's this whole rah-rah around design thinking and sticking post-its all over the place and execs all feeling like they're included. But most of that is really just um, a way of getting financed. The truth is you'd really ever walk out of a hackathon with a real tangible product that is really innovative. Most of the time it's regurgitated ideas that are coming from business units that have just never launched or some thinking that is very well crafted by some very clever individuals that are used to pulling these types of people in the room but you don't get any real innovation real innovation can come from anybody in a company a very good example of that is when i was in new york earlier this year we spent some time at mastercard and mastercard have an actual innovation program and what this means is that they've actually encouraged all their employees to be able to come forward with innovative ideas. Not at some specific date any time, but what they have prepared is a whole series of phases that they can go through. A first phase where they go and they pitch their ideas and things like that. Upon approval of that, they then get into a second phase where they get to work on it a little bit more and really craft the idea so that they could then present it again. And, and then another phase, you know, where they actually start making this a reality. Where they are being innovative isn't in the ideas themselves, but in the way that they're managing this. From a cost perspective, they've accounted for the fact that they, this employee or these employees will actually go and uh, dedicate their days to actually solving the problem and, and actually coming up with a real tangible solution and usually being within the organization they are the best people to actually go and do something quite disruptive so with them not having to worry about losing their jobs or having to complete their daily tasks but being allocated for a specific period of time during a specific phase they actually get to work on the project properly and it doesn't become the sideline thing that falls off or nobody wants to invest in anymore and things like that because if the business really likes the idea the business will back it and it'll go through another round until it's out there in the real world as a real tangible product another thing holding innovation back is the legacy systems all the old software you know that's been bought by IT departments that have gone through this rigorous process that is a very old school way of bringing technology into businesses and while it makes sense because you know somebody has to account for what's being done and somebody has to make sure that the investment is correct software is changing too quickly to have five-year plans so 
working on these old systems is holding innovation back because there's many great ideas. Lots of people in the organization are good at coming up with stuff. Lots of squads can come together and do amazing work. But then you get limited by this back-end technology that just hasn't changed. And because somebody spent money on it, there's no money for new technology. Startups don't have that problem. If you want to be innovative, you've got to stop um, the old processes, the old purchasing uh, habits of the organization. You need to have a startup mentality and write things from scratch. And uh, you need to go and financially allow your employees to work on a project full time without losing their job by making sure there's people there to complete the work they were doing so they can focus on the work that they would like to be doing. So thanks for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool.